While working in Excel, sometimes we need to create new tabs. With the term tab, I want to indicate Excel worksheet. Companies or institutions need separate Excel tabs for their employees. Opening tabs one by one and naming them manually is very tedious and time consuming. In this case, creating tabs automatically comes in handy. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahri Arabra Rafid, and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create tabs automatically in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Here I have got some employee information. This dataset includes the employee ID and their corresponding names in different columns. In the first method, I'll insert a certain cell range from the dataset for creating tabs. For that, I'll create an input dialog box through VVA coding and then specify the cell range in the input box. Excel will do the rest. To use VVA, you have to enable the developer tab in the ribbon. Right click on any tab on the ribbon and select customize the ribbon. In the Excel options window, check the box of developer option and click OK. Hence, the developer tab is now visible. Go to the developer tab, in the code group of commands, select Visual Basic. It will open the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. From the Insert tab, select Module. You can see a code module is inserted. The advantage of inserting the code into the module is that you can run this macro in each sheet of this workbook. Now I will paste my VBA code into the module. You will find the code from the article link in the description box. The sub procedure name is inserting cell range with VVA. The variable names are range and cell and they are all range type variables. If the user chooses anything other than a cell range then the procedure will go to error handling. It's called an input box through this line. Then you can choose the cell range in the input box. This will reserve every cell value into the cell object. This command will see if the cell is empty or not. If the cell is empty, then the procedure will end. If the cell isn't empty, then a new sheet will be created which will be named after the cell value. It's go on with the next cell in the cell range. If an error occurs, then the code will go to this line and end the sub procedure. Let's move the VV editor a little bit. Now click on the run sub or user form button or press the F5 key on the keyboard to execute the code. You will see the inserting cell range with VVA dialog box. Input the specific cell range from the data. Here I want to create tab for Stefan. So I am selecting cell C5 and click OK. Here's the new sheet tab with the selected name. Also, you can create multiple tabs with the same code. Let's delete the new sheet first. Right click on the sheet name. Select delete. Here click on delete. Again I'll run the code. This time I'll do it in a different way. Go to the developer tab in the code group. Select macros. Otherwise press alt plus F8 to do that. The macro dialog box will appear. Here select your created macro and click on run. In the dialog box select cells in the C6 to C8 range and click OK. Look, multiple tabs are created with the selected cell values. If you want to name the tab as per your desire after opening it with a VBA code, then you can follow this method. Here I'll create the tab automatically and name them in the dialog box after running the code. Go to the developer tab, in the code group select Visual Basic. From the insert tab select module. Now paste the VVA code into the module. You can get the code from the description box also. Here the sub procedure name is inserting tab with VVA and variable tab name is declared. It used to store the tab name entered by the user. This line displays an input box allowing the user to enter a name for the new tab. The entered name is stored in the tab name variable. This conditional statement checks whether the user clicked cancel or entered an empty name. If either of these conditions is true, it exits the loop and stops the code. 
This line adds a new sheet before the currently active sheet, then assigns the name stored in the tab name variable to the newly created sheet. This VVA code creates a loop that repeatedly asks the user for a tab name using an input box and adds a new sheet with that name. Now run the code by clicking on the run sub or user from button. You will see the inserting tab name with VVA dialog box. For example, I will input the name Carolyn and press OK. You will see a tab named Carolyn before the active sheet. With this code, you can add multiple sheets as many as you want. I will add another sheet for John and click OK. The tab with the name John is created. Now, if you want to stop the code, just click OK keeping the text box blank or close the dialog box. You might notice that the newly created sheets are added before the active sheet. But if you want to add it after the active sheet, you have to make a small edit to your code. In the developer tab, in code group, click on visual basic. Here is the code. In the add command, I will insert an argument equal to active sheet. Now if I run the code and write the sheet name and click OK, it will add the sheet after the active sheet. In this tutorial, I have shown two methods to create tabs automatically in Excel. Follow them carefully to do it yourself. Use the one that comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.